Hey YouTube, it's March 31st, 2011. Uh, there's obviously been a lot of activity this year and many astronomers believe there's an incoming object four times or greater the size of Jupiter that's responsible for the crazy climate changes, our increasing amounts of earthquakes, tectonic plate movements, and volcanic activity. Uh, just yesterday, apparently, our magnetosphere went haywire, and I'll provide a link for that. Uh, today I found something interesting on NASA's Stereo H1 behind satellite. Uh, I wanted to share it with you. Uh, as you can see in the picture near the bottom, there's a very bright cluster there. And it appears to be coming up from the southern hemisphere. It's to the right of the sun, but it's not coming up from under the sun. Uh, the only planet in view for the stereo H1 behind should be planet Mercury, which is to the upper middle right side of the picture. Uh, the sun is to the left side of the picture, and you can see a little bit of its corona, but it's not in view. Uh, in this picture, I wanted to show where stereo B is in relationship to the sun, Mercury. Venus and Earth. As you can see, uh, Venus shouldn't be in H1's uh, view, or behind, H1 behind view, since it's on the left side of the Sun. Uh, we should only see planet Mercury, uh, which is on the right side of the Sun. So what I'm seeing here is a large cluster of bright objects, or maybe just one big object, lighting up possibly moons around it. Uh, many astronomers have claimed that Planet X or Nibiru is supposed to come up from the southern hemisphere. So people like in Antarctica or Australia would be the first ones to see it. Well, this recent picture from Stereo seems to fit that theory pretty good here. I'm not going to say for sure that's what I think it is, but I think it's worth keeping a close eye on from here on out. Alright, well, that's, that's all I got. Take care, guys.